Hey guys! Welcome to what might be the final episode. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna call it the final episode unless it is the final episode. In which case, welcome. We were on our way to Whatever. the Krakarov volcano in Russia. While looking over what little information I had on the final member of the Fiendish Five, I began to notice something. In the four parts of the Thievius Raccoonus recovered so far, several of the pictures depict a shadowy owl-like figure, which looks very similar to the police images of the mysterious clockwork. Is this a strange coincidence, or is there something I'm missing? Oh, I love this game. This game. This level. Oh, Clockwork. Clockwork's world is beautiful. I don't know. The design, the music, everything about it is just it's original. Everything else. And this whole game is original. Okay? The design of this game is very original. I don't care what anyone says. There's no world, there's no world in other games that's like the worlds in this game. This game is very creative with its things. But this world is by far the most creative. This the way this the story really starts being a story here. Less funny, more story. Now, Clockwork's different than most of the guys. He relies mostly on robots to, at his disposal, rather than th than uh, guards and shit. Yeah, Clockwork likes robots and technology. And metal and guns and all that shit. So he's gonna be a tough guy. If you haven't guessed yet, he also likes birds. All the final bosses of these games love birds. You guys look at that joke if you uh, play the other side. Actually, slide three. Doesn't end with a bird, I don't think. No, it ends with a monkey. Oh, come on! Mm. I can press L1, but I don't really want to. I wish this car would move faster, by the way. Move faster, van. I don't imagine someone LPing this game. Like, they already had the levels done. And they're just playing through them over again or something. I've, I've seen now peers who have done that. They've played through games over... Like, obviously, they're playing a game over again. I've played this game before. I've played all these games before. But, like, I've heard I've, I've heard of El Peters who will take games they've already beaten. Take a file that's already beaten. So there are characters that, like, the maximum power has all the abilities and stuff. And then just replay all the levels. I'm just gonna tell you guys right now, if you're watching this... <laughs> that's not how you LP. Just don't LP like that, please. hardest one for some reason, I don't know why. I love these Robo Falcons, by the way. I don't care what anyone says. Oh, this is the hard part here. Imagine all three things at once. Oh boy, if it wasn't hard enough. It's about to be. Oh, I got it. I say that was rocks and mines. I think it was part with mines and birds at once. Or rocks and birds or something. What's the No we're not. This is not part of it. It's a bunch of birds though. A bunch of falcons. God! How do you afford this shit, Clockwork? He probably built it himself. He gets the metal himself, but... He's got, like, Minecraft. People are like, how do you afford this shit? You can find it. Go buy nothing to Minecraft. Makes sense. Burning rubber. This is the crazy part. Oh, this is cool. Would have been easy to get at them if Murray hadn't thrashed our new turret. Yeah, will be a problem. I can hack the computer's connection coupling so they'll fall to the ground. Then Murray will have to run over them with the van. Okay, and Murray, remember to use.
is our new battering ram. Don't have your head out the whole time, Mary. Please don't have your head out the whole time. From those computers. He has his head out the whole time. That's. Look at controls. These are so easy. Wow. It's beautiful. Okay, so there's only 119 computers. And, uh. We need 60. They want 60 as well. Clever way to turn this into a game and not make it feel out of place. Now, as long as you're ahead, this is kind of like Mr. Vile and Banjo Kazooie or something. As long as you're ahead, you'll be fine. And also, you can play this like Mr. Vile if you want to. You can just not even slam him. Just uh, hope for the best. Uh, I've seen most people do, but you don't actually have to kill them, but it's easier if you do. Get out of here, bro. I don't get how this level works. I'm uh, running over computers. Never mind. Like for logic. Makes more sense than Nintendo logic. Oh my god, I'm almost done with this game already. That's, this is a fast LP. This is the final world, by the way, if you guys can't tell. By the um, epic badassness. Epic portions. This is the end of the game right here. Not, this isn't the final level, but. Now the next level's a real level. The only real level in the game. That doesn't have, and it still doesn't have bottles. Uh, this one could have had bottles. Careful, Sly. Those tiles are booby trapped. You better get out of there. Hold on. That's Carmelita. She looks trapped. Serves that cop right. She's been dogging us from the start. It's just a misunderstanding. We've got to free her. Are you crazy, Sly? Clockwork probably stuck her there to trap you! But if I don't do anything, Carmelita's doomed. Besides, stealing just won't be any fun without her. Sly, your ridiculous raccoon logic sends shivers up my shell. But if you're determined to go through with this, that barrel will undoubtedly help. Though I have no idea how you'll get up there. Dude, a spire jump here, a rail slide there, I've done this a million times. Okay, that's easy. Let's do this. I'm trying to make us all clockworks rolled all in one big episode, but I'm not expecting much. I don't really care if it isn't. Wait. Killed! Did it wrong. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I just, just kind of messed up. Why would you ever want Bentley to repeat everything he just said? I don't know why I'd ever want any of these things repeated. God damn it! Oh, I guess I have infinite lives here. This is a cool level. It's like really good with the uh, climbing and stuff. You really gotta know what you uh, learn through this game. And this part here is like a checkpoint, I guess. Also, the coins have Sly on them. That's really cool. Russian money has Sly Cooper on it. I would, I would laugh at <laughs> it. I know it doesn't. I don't even know what Russian money is called. Someone tell me. Someone comments below. What's Russian money called? Oh. Oh. Also, I'm assuming by these, using these, you can burn the barrel up. If you had a, uh, lucky charm. I got stuck in there! Sly Cooper! I should have known you were behind this. You got me wrong, Miss Fox. I'm here to rescue you. 
You sentimental fool. Empathy has always been the downfall of the Cooper clan. I knew this was a trap! Looks like I'm going to have to do some fast and furious hacking to shut down that gas before Sly's brain is turned to cheese. Oh, this is the only level in this game where you get to play as Bentley. And I love it. Haven't had to do this in a while. Okay, I use the light I'm playing as Bentley. If you guys don't know how awesome that is, it's pretty damn awesome. I'm playing as fucking Bentley, by the way. Hey guys, look, I'm playing as <laughs> I'm playing as fucking Bentley. That's awesome. In this game is awesome. The other games is so generic, it's not awesome. But this game, it's so awesome. I'm playing as fucking Bentley, and this music is amazing. Oh my god, I, I don't know. I, I thought that was the coolest thing as a kid playing as Bentley. He's like the only character you don't really know much about. Like Murray, you know, he's like fat and shit. And then there's Bentley, you never get to play as him. But I'm not really playing as Bentley. I guess like this is kind of like this is actually more of like if anyone's played the other Sly Cooper games, this is more like those like hacking computer levels. Um, clockwork. Clockwork! I should give Bentley some lucky charms. Because they're magically delicious. Level two. Damn you, Bentley! Bentley. Bentley, what have you done? Fucking Bentley, by the way. Only level in the game where you get a health bar, by the way, also. This is hard. I'm not very good at this. Where are you going, little yellow computer chip thing? Whatever the hell that thing I'm grabbing is. What is what is that? Oh god. Bentley and his little turtle shell. God damn it. Level, Level four <laughs> I love that. Bentley you suck. Five lives. Why can't I just have lives in this level, please? I I prefer I prefer actually prefer lives. It's like, you know, suicide's an option or something. Not really. I don't I need suicide in this level. They've actually gotten smart not making lives count in this level. It's so easy to die. Actually, I think lives. Yeah, lives count. No, what? The lives don't count. I guess not. Yeah, lives don't count here because it's a hard level. They know it's a hard level. This music is pretty. I I I, I want to find the song. Someone someone give me a link to the song. Or actually, I find it myself. Don't bother. Don't bother my inbox with links to songs I can find myself. Although, I don't, actually, I don't really know what to search. <laughs> I guess this could help if someone found this. I guess you can search, like, Bentley Hacking or something like that. But the background music to this level is really cool. I'm gonna admit. It's silly. It's so ridiculously silly. Whoa, last level. Okay, I can do this. Let's not get killed here. Okay, Clockwork's the main enemy here. This would have been actually been a really cool mechanic for the rest of the game. Shut up, Sophie. Shut up, Sophie. This actually would have been a really cool mechanic through the rest of the game. But, uh, damn it. Oh, 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 oh. There. There. And bang. I'm the best. No code can stand before me. Okay. Sly, I was wrong about you. 
Break me out of this force field by smashing its base, and I'll make it up to you somehow. Success was mine! That's the level end. The coins look so cool here. A temporary truce. I don't get it, Cooper. I've hunted you for years, tried to throw you behind bars, but when you get a chance to leave me in a cage, you set me free. Why? Armalita, we may be on opposite sides of the law, but you're not my enemy. Now, the homicidal robotic owl that built this death ray and nearly gassed us to death? That guy's on my list. I see your point. All right. Until clockwork and his evil schemes are destroyed, I suggest we work together. Together at last. Why did you jump? Sly, why did you? Never mind. Huh, wait. I need that cane. It's been in my family for generations. Don't worry, Ringtail. I'll cover you while you get it back. You're a fox. Your tail's you will ring Make your too. way to the top of the death ring. I stashed my jetpack there before clockwork nabbed me. Now that we're a team at all, I hate to leave your side. Hold on. This truce is only temporary. Once we beat clockwork, I'm coming after you. Really? Well, maybe I'll give you a 10 second head start. Okay. I'm playing as Carmelita. The only thing cooler than playing as Bentley is playing as Carmelita. Oh, I guess I'll kill her. Oh, thank goodness for our lucky charms. They're magically delicious! That's it, it's so loud. <laughs> oh god, this is harder than Murray's for some reason. This isn't like doing the ones with Murray. Murray moves slower. And so the, so the enemies don't have a chance, really. Also, you don't really get to know the enemies here. There's the birds, there's the mines, there's the lava things, there's the lava slimes, magma cubes. <laughs> they're not cubes, they're just blobs. This. Watch out, Sly. There we are. There we are. That's better. Nice job, Raccoon. Uh, sinking peril. Behold, my favorite level of the game. Right where she said it would be. The magnetronic support field for the death ray got destroyed as you were making a run for your cane. You'd better hurry. This whole thing is about to fall apart. That's good. Let's do this. Oh, sliding down, Sly. Oh, come on, let me play it. Let me play the game. I want to play the game. I want to play the game. Okay, this whole thing's falling. Oh, this just just dramatic voice. <laughs> This overly dramatic voice is just beautiful. Come on, Sly, you can do Oh god! Oh, this is when they actually introduce um going up the sliding things as a thing you have to do. Just gonna make a point saying that. Unless I'm playing this game wrong all these years. Damn it! I was working so hard at this level and you did that to me. Come on. Let me f you know, I'm going to do it next episode then anyways. I want to see you guys in the next one. We will finish the game that episode and get the stuff I missed. See you then.